Hello students, welcome to the theory class of principles of plant breathing. Today's topic is on breathing methods for vegetatively crop propagated crops. We'll discuss here clonal selection method. By the end of this lecture, you'll be able to answer the following questions. What are the clones? What is clonal selection? And how a variety is developed by clonal, clonal selection? What are vegetatively propagated crops? What are the pros and cons of clonal selection methods? Before we move on to the topic clonal selection method, so let's discuss what is a clone and its differences against pure line and an inbred line. So a clone is a group of plant produced by uh, produced by asexual reproduction from a single plant. Okay, it may be of any any mode. It may be by runner. It may be by bulb. It may be by tuber. So the type of uh, crops that is produced, type of plant that is produced, should be asexual mode should not be sexual mode that is crossing between two parents okay so in case of clones we have the type of plants from which we derive clones is a cross pollinated crop plant while in case of pure line and inbred line they are self pollinated crop plant and cross pollinated crop plant respectively okay and the mode of propagation the mode of reproduction is a sexual method in case of clones while in case of pure line and inbred line they are both by crossing between two parents okay and in case and in case of um, the genetic constitution of a particular clone okay, this is frequently asked in competitive exams it is a heterozygous okay while in case of pure lines uh, it is homozygous okay and in red line it is also having a heterozygous heterozygosity after long uh, after slight uh, cross pollination okay because because of slight cross pollination between two or three inbreds okay and asexual uh, uh, the mode of obtaining a clone is the process of obtaining a clone is by asexual production from a single plant while in case of pure line it is by natural self pollination okay and in case of inbred line it is by forced art artificial uh, self pollination and sometimes it may, it may lead to because it is a cross pollinated crop plant it may lead to inbreeding depression okay so this demerit is there in case of uh, maintenance of clones it is by, done by asexual method that is cuttings or uh, either grafting okay in case of pure line it is done by natural self pollination again and in case of inbred again it is by uh, artificial self pollination or selfing okay and the similarity of uh, uh, ident identical uh, identity of uh, plant from one another is they are all same in case of pure line also they are all uniform while in case of inbreds they are almost identical the reason why there is it's indicated almost identical is there may be slight chances of cross pollination between uh, two inbred lines okay because of the cross pollination mechanism and uh, used directly as a variety okay yeah clone can be directly used as a variety pure line can also be directly used as a variety once it is uh, once we obtain a homozygous line and but in case of inbred line we are using inbred line specially for especially as a parent in a hybridization program or as a uh, uh, component lines of parents in synthetic variety production program coming to the vegetative or asexual mode of reproduction so in this case these are crop plants where there is no involvement of, of uh, fertilization or fusion of male and female gametes while in case of other type of crop plants like uh, uh, self-pollinated and cross-pollinated crop plant, they involve uh, crossing between or fusion of male and female gametes. So in this case, uh, most of the uh, progenies are derived from uh, vegetative part. Okay, cut either cuttings, it may be uh, by bulb or tuber. Okay, so under natural uh, mode of asexual reproduction, it, it, there are. Uh, propagation or uh, production of progenies by bulb tuber runners and rhizomes okay so in case of artificial method in case of artificial we have when we have to maintain the uh, line which is produced by clonal selection we have we can do this by cuttings layerings graftings okay advantage of which is now we get uniform crop plants uh, uniform clones okay so example of uh, crop plants where tubers uh, plays a, a mode of propagation or a propagating material are potato okay while a bulb acting as a 
propagating material are onion and garlic, rhizome, ginger and turmeric, corn, bunda or arvi. And in case of runners, we have strawberries. Okay. So coming to the next slide, we have uh, so these crop plants, these vegetatively propagated crop plants, they can also yield seeds. Okay, but it takes may, maybe because of it, it, thus they are perennial and maybe because they are having uh, a lesser uh, viability. The seeds that is produced by them are lesser viability compared to uh, self and cross pollinated crop plants. So we either prefer this uh, asexual mode of reproduction rather than uh, sexual mode of reproduction. Okay, so the reason why we uh, go for vegetative propagation in this kind of crop plant are the lack of seeds okay uh, there is less number of seeds or there is more seed production in ginger and turmeric okay and in case of uh, sugarcane we have short viability okay seeds which are produced okay uh, are having short viability that is they lead for shorter period of time so when we have to grow sugarcane by seeds we have to harvest the seeds and sow in the same season itself otherwise it'll, the seeds will die okay and moreover sugarcane is a perennial crop so uh, it flowers once in like four to five years okay so next thing is the seed production is very rare example banana okay uh, you can see this seed production in some traditional local varieties diploid varieties okay while in case of triploid varieties we have we don't have that uh, seed production okay seed is lessened or seed, seed is degenerated in this or maybe because artificial selection has induced seed to degenerate okay during the process and number four these uh, seeds are produced under special conditions only so say for example in case of uh, true potato seeds okay so for production of seeds in potato we need special conditions like cold climatic conditions higher altitude such and such okay so there are lots of factors these are the factors which contribute to why uh, sexually propagated crop plants are maintained and propagated by uh, vegetative propagation only okay next thing is uh, breeding methods of asexually propagated species okay so there are several breeding methods actually but uh, when it comes to uh, breeding method which can apply only to asexually propagated crop plants or visually propagated crop plants it is clonal selection rest of the others either we have already studied or it is common to all the uh, three different types of propagating crop plants like self pollinated crop plants cross pollinated crop plants and as actually propagated crop plants okay so we'll discuss this rest of the breathing method which are common to three of them uh, we will discuss this in a separate uh, class so what are the characteristics of a uh, uh, sexual or vegetative propagated crops okay most of them are perennial crop plants as we have already uh, discuss uh, sugarcane like sugarcane and mango they are perennials okay getting seeds we have to wait for two to three years okay so it is and some of the mango plants are regular bearer uh, irregular bearer and sugarcane takes this is arrow okay the inflorescence of uh, a, of a sugarcane it's rarely seen because we don't prefer arrow in a sugarcane before it reaches flowering stage we cut the sugarcane by uh, before we uh, before the sugarcane turns into reproductive stage the vegetative stage maturity is enough for harvesting so we cut down the sugarcane and we either go for propagation through sets okay rather than by seeds because it takes long time in case of uh, annual crops which are mostly tuber crops okay say for example potato cassava uh, sweet potato etc and another thing is many of them show reduced flowering and seed set okay so in case of uh, polyploidy okay polyploidy is such a uh, example of uh, crop plants where seeds are fruits fruits are enlarged okay and we have because of the extra genome in the fruits uh, extra genome in the crop plants fruits are enlarged 
and they have high uh, high amount of color high amount of nutrition but the thing is they lack seed viability the seeds are inviable or seeds are degenerated in this case okay either there is no seed at all so when you have such a crop plant there will be difficulty in propagation with the seeds okay in the next generation they are invariably cross pollinated because uh, most of the asexually propagated crop plants are cross pollinated okay so that's why uh, in in cross pollinated crop plants what we have selfing uh, will give in breathing depression okay so they also suffer from breathing depressions if uh, if say for example if the if they flower and if we self they suffer from breathing depressions next number five is these crops are highly heterozygous and show severe inbreeding depressions upon selfing. Okay, and majority of asexually propagated crops are polyploids. Okay, we have discussed example are sugarcane, then we have uh, banana, potato, such and such. Okay, potato is a tetraploid. Okay, uh, sugarcane, these are they are all tetraploids. Okay, and <coughs> many species are interspecific hybrids. Uh, Interspecific hybrid means the hybridization between two uh, different species of crop plants. Okay. And next, coming to what is clonal selection? Okay, what is the procedure? What is uh, what is actually clonal selection? It is a procedure of uh, selection of superior clones from the mixed population or of asexually propagated crops such as sugarcane and potato okay so this is a process of selection of superior clones okay from a mix of heterogeneous okay asexually propagated crop plants okay we are going to do selection from the mixed population so what are the source of clonal selections from which we are going to select it can be local varieties okay local varieties such as uh, local uh, popular cultivar which is um, preferred by a farmer and they have been cultivating traditional varieties from a long time it can be chosen from that it can be introduced material okay a material which has been uh, luxurious and if introduced into a new environment domesticated it can be uh, it can be a good source for clonal selection a hybrid okay a hybrid plant may be a good source for clonal selection provided it should uh, it's the hybrid should yield uh, the, the hybrid in, in case of hybrid varieties the there is no need of uh, seeds okay because the hybrids will be obviously we are going to have different types of uh, progenies in f2 generations if we self f1 there will be f2 generation segregating generations so instead of that if you uh, grow cuttings of the hybrid varieties you will get similar clones so you can apply uh, clonal selection in hybrids okay so several hybrids from you have to take several hybrids instead of just one hybrid in case of se segregating population say for example f2 f3 f4 generations from across okay of two diverse diverse parents coming to the procedure of uh, clonal selection method so from a mixed population of clones okay so we are going to select individuals which are superior okay uh, phenotypically superior from a several hundreds of superior plants we are going to select clones okay so from these clones uh, from this mixture of clones if we select we are going to uh, grow the plants the selected plants separately okay we have seen here okay selected plants are grown separately in lines okay and desirable clones are selected okay the selected from these lines we select some desirable lines and we uh, try out for preliminary yield trial okay we tested it for preliminary yield trial uh, with a local check variety what is local check variety it is a variety which is popular in the uh, locality okay or popular in the market or you can call it as a cultivar so each of the variety <coughs> each of these lines has to be tested against a uh, few checks okay it may be one or few and once uh, the superior lines are selected from preliminary yield trials so it can be transferred to multi locational yield trials which can be done in AICRP research stations or either in field uh, in research field or in 
uh, farmers field okay where you are supposed to release these varieties okay you are going to try out these varieties in this area so from these lines from these uh, multi locational trials we are we are going to select uh, we are going to select uh, new varieties best clones should be identified from these varieties okay and then we are going to use here standard check again standard check for that part, those particular localities okay uh, we should be using different checks for different localities and then select those lines best lines which are identified in this trial and then go for seed multiplication okay so this is a simple process of tonal selection and it takes uh, seven year okay in the first year there will be growing of uh, mixture of clones second year selection of lines growing in rows okay individual rows and then in the third year preliminary yield trial four to six year there will be multi locational yield trial the reason why there is a long duration of uh, myt multi locational trial is because we are going to testify the adaptation of these varieties clone varieties into the these different localities or different locations okay and then in the seventh year we are going to send the seeds to uh, national seed corporation or state seed corporation agencies to produce um, uh, breeders and uh, foundation seed and then certified seed to be distributed to the uh, farmers okay and this seed produced is called breeder seed okay next is uh, some of the advantages of uh, clonal selection first one is varieties are stable okay because they are all clones and are uniform okay and it avoids inbreeding depressions because we have uh, selected varieties which are superior lines uh, okay and tonal selection combines with hybridization generates necessary variability for several selections okay so when uh, and there is a uh, combination breeding between tonal selection selected clones and then it is hybridized we get necessary variability uh, in several selections this is when we use clones as parents in a hybridization program okay in crop plants where uh, sexual reproduction is also possible and asexual mode of reproduction is also possible okay something which both can be done in in that in those type of crop plants we can utilize this combined combination breeding okay and in the next one only method to improve uh, tonal crop okay in case of vegetatively propagated crop plants it is the uh, most viable method to improve in a in a sexually more uh, propagated crops okay next thing is hybrid vigor is easy easily utilized selection may be used in maintaining the purity of clones because it is a heterozygous line so hybrid vigor is attained okay and it is and it can be maintained easily by uh, by what asexual mode of reproduction because they persist and in uh, some of the disadvantages okay selection utilizes the natural variability already present in the population okay so there is no no need of creating a new variations okay although it may be possible with uh, mutations okay and uh, hybridization if possible okay if, if it is a cross pollinated crop plant so it, it is obviously possible to uh, derive natural variability from either uh, <coughs> mechanical admixtures or mutations and so and so and next we have sexual reproduction is necessary for creation of variability through hybridization so is, uh, so in this sexual reproduction is necessary to create variation okay and of course mutation also is one of the other uh, uh, sources of variation so for those crop plants where sexual reproduction is not possible it is a demerit for them and applicable only to vegetatively propagated crops in tonal selection cannot be applicable to other type of crop plants so these are the disadvantage so some of the problems in breeding for asexually propagated crop plants are it reduce reduced flowering and fertility okay so since we are habit uh, since we are adapt uh, since the crop plants are adapted to asexual mode of reproduction these crop plants are uh, suffering this will suffer from 
uh, reduced flowering okay and fertility will be lost okay, in the long run and in crop plants such as uh, polyploidy where vegetative mode of reproduction is quite uh, used frequently so they will have degenerated seeds and it will be difficult for propagation in the next morning uh, hybridization will be a difficult problem in uh, this situation in this type of crop plants so generation of genetic variability is little bit uh, impossible in breeding for crop plants with asexual uh, propagate propagation and coming to difficulties in genetic analysis because in genetic analysis the type of <coughs> uh, the genetic component the genetic component of a crop plant is known by obviously homozygosity and heterozygosity so in this case we are going to it is difficult to identify the genetic constitution of a variety by uh, and and estimate using uh, hybridization method okay so in in asexual mode of reproduction it is difficult to identify uh, the homozygosity and heterozygosity so it is a difficult difficulty for them and uh, most of the asexual mode of reproduction is having perennial life cycle so it takes long time to flower and it takes it takes long time to complete its vegetative uh, vegetative stage or reproductive stage so that is why uh, it is a demerit for them and oh, what are the sources okay probable sources where genetic variations can be attained in a clone okay so <clears throat> this can be contributed by mutations first of all mutations and mutation can happen in such a way that uh, homozygous mutation especially in case of recessive uh, homozygous because most of the uh, alleles which are which have been there already are called wild type these wild types are dominant over mutant types which are originated by um, modifications in their genetic constitutions okay so most of the mutations since most of the mutations are recessive so when they have to when, when these recessive mutations have to express it has to be in homozygous condition homozygous recessive condition so either the mutation has to happen in both the alleles of the uh, gene homologous chromosome okay so it will become homozygous recessive aa or either in case of heterozygous condition it has to happen in only one which leads to uh, conversion of capital a to small a okay in the second case okay so mutation uh, may have happened uh, homozygosity or um, visible mutation can be attained by two mode first one which is uh, mutating both the uh, genes both the alleles in the homologous chromosomes or by uh, if it is a heterozygous type the mutation has to happen in only one of the allele of the homologous chromosome okay so next thing is mechanical mixture so mechanical mixture is nothing but uh, during mechanical operations agronomical operations or during drying during seed seed drying or during uh, transportations all kinds of or during loading all kinds of uh, uh, seed admixtures happens during this process okay and this may contribute to impurities in the uh, impurities in the seed lot and at the same time genetic admixtures okay they this may be minor okay it may contribute to five to ten percent okay at the max uh, next thing is uh, sexual reproduction okay, that means fertilization okay crossing between two parents if it is compatible okay so if the visit there is a reproductive stage right after vegetative stage if it uh, in case of uh, sugarcane say for example uh, even though we have to wait it for a longer period of time there is reproductive stage so hybridization is possible after two years one or two years of vegetative phase okay so uh, genetic variations can be attained by hybridization and from the segregating generations such as f2 f3 f4 generations okay next thing is 
clonal degenerations okay and the clonal degenerations means uh, the loss in vigor and productivity of clones with time okay if you don't maintain the clones so what will happen there will be loss in vigor okay and loss of growth and development in crop plants okay and it may be contributed by mutations okay say due to muta mutational changes that we have already discussed here okay there may be significant changes in the phenotype of the crop plant okay even though they are all clones uh, they are all propagated as actually mm, there may be significant changes okay and it may be like mutations viral disease okay say for example panchitopo banana disease which causes what uh, <coughs> bunching of the uh, plant top okay so instead of the prototype banana prototype so it will look like this the plant type will look like this and bacterial disease also contributes to such a degenerated degeneration in tonal crops okay and coming to some of the achievements attained in uh, tonal selection are varieties are in varieties kufri red from darjeeling round red okay in potato kufri safed from fulwa okay and bombay green banana and which are select uh, bud selection from dwarf cavendish okay and then we have some more uh, achievements in fruit crops in mango we have the sherry 51 niranjan cardos mankurut payur one and in grapes we have pusa seedless thompson seedless perlet tas e ganesh sonaka rao sahebi dilkhush guava we have four l49 jot alandi s1 arka Maridula. and in sapota we have cricket ball kirthi bharti badami baramasi guti uh, thagar puti and some more uh, varieties which are for papaya we have pusa giant puswa dwarf co1 co2 co5 and co6 and in pineapple we have singapore spanish mars uh, masmara from uh, and puerto rico and in litchi we have glorf shaharanpur swarnarupa and in onla we have n4 na4 na5 na6 na7 na8 na10 and in bale we have nb1 nb5 nb6 and in pomegranate we have g137 co1 ycd1 so coming to the end of the slide if you have any questions please do ask